uh, Michael Krasnick, and I'm working for the project OSRM. <laughs> and I started like one year ago. And so the, the main question in my talk is how to dive into the new code. So, okay, so first of all, you can ask someone who is already familiar with the code. And yeah, it mo ma basically, this is the the most simplest case. So, and uh, someone can uh, explain you the code in five, ten minutes. Then, yeah, that's good. But if it's not the case, you can read also documentation or just uh, read inline comments. Oh, like uh, check test results. Mm -hmm. So that's also great. Or use the uh, like uh, login facilities of the project and check the logs output. <laughs> but the last step is in the investigation is just like debugging. So <laughs> and that can be really painful. So because of the different custom types. So in Project of SRM, so there are many, many different custom types, but I took the simplest one like uh, coordinate type. And whenever you type something in GDB, like print node coordinates, uh, then you will see like something long latitude. And you immediately realize so that there's something like about longitude and latitude, but there are some kind of strange values. So you can type, uh, uh, print the type of the node coordinate and you'll see something like, okay, so this is the structure, and there are some uh, uh, strongly typed aliases for the longitude and latitude. But okay, so the question is, what's behind these numbers? And yeah, I was thinking about, like, it's not really good to see this uh, fixed type numbers and just added some coordinate printers for the pretty printers of the GDB. So. Uh, and basically, that's pretty simple Python code. Like, you initialize the pretty printer with the uh, value and some internal uh, constants like precision. And whenever the callback function to string is called, so you can prepare any kind of uh, human readable string. So just like convert the numbers into integer and divide it by the precision. And then simply register the pretty printer in the GDB types uh, uh, printers. Okay, so, and the final result will be like, okay, so instead of printing some uh, strange numbers with the noisy variable names, like we see the human readable coordinates. Even the printing the coordinates with the vector it will be very nice. Okay, so then the next step, what I was thinking about, okay, so I spent like uh, 10 to 20 seconds to copy paste all this data from GDB to the web browser, and what if I will do this with the uh, GDB commands, and then the next step was to create the open command, and if you just take the, oh, okay, so, and if I call the open command with some argument, like a node coordinate, so then I form again the human readable uh, coordinate and open the URL from the Python. Cool, and then it's just like, okay, so if you type in print me node coordinate zero, so it will just put the marker on the map and show the map here. So, and previously, if you do it just by copy-pasting manually, it takes like 30 seconds, but with these commands, it just immediately opens the web browser. And then I didn't stop here, and then I st started to implement more commands, like, okay, so if I uh, want to stop at some particular intersection, or and if I put the conditional breakpoint on the C++ function, so, and I want, would like to stop when the data hits this particular node, also, so into note at this intersection. And then I also can print the intersections, like in the smart plot lib, or even I can print some graphs with the SVG directly from the GDB, and or even just print some routes with the GeoJSON on the map. So, okay, so that's basically it. So on the takeaway message, so the pretty prints are really great. So and they really save a lot of development time, and really uh, many libraries should have, or like widely used libraries should have really debugger support to show the yeah, internal custom types. Yeah, okay, so that's it. Thank you. <laughs> so. so is, is this um, functionality kind of Baked into the GDB? Yeah, so since. So they have a, like, a native Python binding or something? Yeah, yeah, so it's built since version 7.0. So. Uh, um, oh, okay. If you think about the you know, like security implications of that, uh, this is 
you can basically <coughs> involve anything from inside of the debugger, but it's dangerous anyway. So if you want to, <laughs> yeah, but you have to trust. So at least a, a still library comes with the pretty ni nice pretty printers. So. Yeah. Are the graphics somehow generated in GDB or are you always opening a browser? Or so mm -hmm. the, the graphic is, so I use GDB only to get the data. And the graphic is generated in Python actually. So I just use Matplotlib or some GeoJSON or GeoJSON library. But you could also communicate with all the Python, like uh, Pythons or whatever kind of libraries, right? Mm. Yes, so. so that's yeah. Cool. Yeah, okay. Thank you.